Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an error message on Windows that Windows cannot communicate with the device or resource, and it's typically associated with the primary DNS server, and that the device or resource is not responding to request. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in services, best match, or come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. First service you want to locate is the DNS service. So the DNS client, go ahead and double click on that. You want to make sure startup type is automatic as well as that the service status is running. If it was not set to automatic and it was not running, you want to go ahead and change that to what you see on my screen. And then the other service you want to locate is the DHCP client service. Again, same deal. You want to make sure it's set to automatic and that the service status is running as well. And then once you're done that, if you've had to make any changes, hopefully that should have resolved the problem. If not, something else we can try here too. Open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration to successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in any TSH space winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset. So again, any TSH space WinSock space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So at this point, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward. Hopefully, that would have been able to resolve the problem as well. If you are still having a problem, you can try just resetting your network settings back to default. So if you're using a Wi-Fi-based connection, you will need to enter back in your Wi-Fi credentials once your computer restarts. But as long as you have them nearby, they should be on the back of the router and just take note of them. And then proceed with opening up the search menu. Type in settings. Best result, check them back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select Network and Internet on the left side. And then on the right side, you want to go down and select Advanced Network Settings. Select Network Reset. Reset all network adapters to factory settings. This will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select yes. And now you want to close out of here. Save and close out of any open programs and applications you have on your computer. And restart your computer at this point. So pretty straightforward process there, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.